Some highlights of the collection uh, include this large painting by Grace Hardigan from 1963 entitled Barbie. It's a fantastic example of gestural painting. Barbie is the title and maybe that's the, the theme that she was thinking of when she went about uh, composing this abstract picture. One can see perhaps the eye of Barbie in the work and maybe other uh, facial or bodily features. Uh, of her. Another highlight would be uh, Frank Stella's geometric abstract painting that appears uh, to be constructed with a protractor, or, uh, certainly with a ruler, uh, using uh, hard edge abstract shapes to compose a very flat and colorful picture. Then the highlights of this collection definitely include uh, art that is right on the edge of today's discourses, art that has been produced in the 1990s, maybe by younger artists who are seeking to expand the definitions of art. One great example that the museum acquired just last year is a work by an Argentine-born painter, Fabian Marcaccio, and he calls his work Paintant, which is a, a kind of linguistic fusion of painting and mutant. And <clears throat> what he's implying by that sort of double barreled title is that painting can no longer just be paint applied to canvas. So Marcaccio does not use the conventional stretcher, but rather relies upon copper piping to uh, structure the actual material of his canvas. He prints most of his imagery rather than applies it with a paintbrush and tries to involve images and abstract icons in the overall uh, complexion of the painting. Um, also to build the collection, to make sure that artists who have not been previously featured or included in this collection can now be seen. Major artists like Benny Andrews, a leading African American now always has uh, a painting on view here in the 20th Century Gallery. And then younger artists like Radcliffe Bailey from Atlanta, who has a major piece. So really, not just shuffling the cards, but in a sense updating the deck and bringing in contemporary art that is of today, of this region, but also uh, valid at a, at a much wider level. The, the richness of the collections as a whole, stretching from the Italian Renaissance from the 13th century through to uh, the 20th century and the art of today. These are really collections that allow any viewer who has any interest to pursue that interest in depth with superb examples. And I think that it's, it's the general scope of this museum that uh, is open to as many contexts and possibilities as a viewer is able to bring to an art museum that makes this uh, museum superb. For more information, call 205-254-2565 or check out their website at www.artsbma.org.